Hi, Dick and Chad. Uh, I've been watching your show quite a while. In fact, I've watched it so long that I was watching when Leo used to be one of the hosts. And um, I'm going to try to do this again. I made, it, I made a video first, and it was five minutes, and I know that's way too long. So I'm going to try to cut this down. I'm a truck driver. I work in the oil fields in North Dakota. Um, uh, trucks nowadays come with uh, refrigerators, microwaves, TVs, computers, everything in them. But there's still not much room, so you still want to try to need to consolidate things. And one of the things that I like that works well for me is called a Road Pro Oven. It costs about 30 bucks at Walmart. You can buy them at truck stops. You can buy them on Amazon. They're all about the same price. And this is what it looks like. It looks like an old-style lunchbox. It's got a, about a five-foot cord that goes into the lighter. It's got a fuse there. And then to give you an idea how big it is inside, I've got a can here. A regular, this is a regular... 16 ounce can I think yep 16 ounce can what I do is if I get something like this I just pop the top so that there's a, a, lay, a way for the steam to get out from the food leaving the top on because otherwise of course it would spill and this is about the size if you try to put it in this way you can see it doesn't fit well, actually this one does barely but anyways I put it on the side and then um, I um, but in case I didn't show how big it was there's the size Anyway, um, they also make a little, what looks like a bread pan, it's made of aluminum, you put, you put food into it, put it, make it in here frozen, stick it in here, close this lid, plug it in, and in, in 20, 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, it's, it's done and it's frozen. Um, I also take aluminum foil, put fish, vegetables, seasoning and butter, wrap it up, put it in here, again, put a little bit of water in the bottom. The reason I use the water, it helps it, uh, uh, helps the, um, food cook more evenly. Anyways, I stick it in there, close the lid, plug it in, and a little while later, it's ready to go. And the, um, I don't know how hot it gets, I'll, but I do know that I have never had any problems with it not cooking the food fully. And it, it, of course, it fills up the truck with the, the smells of what I'm cooking, and it's great. I even know a guy that used to put, he'd make rice in here. He'd put rice and water in here and cook it, and he liked it he loved it um, I don't do that myself but you could I suppose um, anybody that's that's that needs some place that, that maybe it's a traveling salesperson uh, maybe a district manager for stores where they have to go from store to store to store and you don't want to have to eat out a, a fast food all the time this is a way to make sure that you're getting good homemade food basically in your vehicle thanks a lot uh, and for watching my video and I love you guys' show. Have a great day.